Hey, on this episode, let's zoom in and take a look at how to get some currency data into Excel. We'll create some nice visuals and interactions with charts, conditional formatting, and cell selection events. Be sure to hit the website in the description to check out all the sample workbooks and code. So let's take a look at what we got here. Basically, it's a table of all the different currencies versus each other. And as you select each cell, you can see the history of price there. I think it's a pretty common format to see uh, currencies versus each other. There is an option to the chart off to the right where you can see the number of days of history. So right now it's 90, but if you were to change that to uh, 30, then you'd have uh, 30 days. This is all done through data types on the second sheet there. So that mimics the table layout, but each thing's a data type. You can drill in to see its price and whatnot. To create one of these, you type in the symbol for each one, and then you go to the data tab and push stocks on it, and it'll convert it to the currency data type, and you can then see the price, uh, and last trade time, and a bunch of other things on it. The way data types work is it's an object in the cell, so you can say equals that cell dot, and then get information pulled out of it into the grid. So in that case, I did a dot price. In this case, I can do a change, and you can see both coming out into the grid as separate values, all based on that one currency. One of the bonuses to doing this is if that data type ever changes, those formulas will update with the new values. To get the currency to refresh, we can go to data type refresh settings. We can set some options there for it. So right now it's set to automatically every five minutes. You could do it on open or manual. You can see the way the table's made is that each cell is referring to the other sheets data type dot price. And so over here you can see there's a dot price inside of this data type and we're just pulling that into the table on the first page. To get the history, we use the stock history function. We grab the number of days from the first sheet and pass it in there. And we also grab the currency, which is right above there. Um, we pass that into stock history and that'll give us the history of the price. And that active currency changes based on selection. So we do have a defined name called buttons and that defines the areas where the user can click. And then in the VBA code, we do an intersect with the selection and see if the user has selected any of those buttons. If so, we'll copy that data type over onto the second sheet into the active currency and that'll populate the stock history and so forth. And the last thing I wanted to touch on is how the table is turning green and red. For that we use a couple conditional formats that look at the change of the currency. And so here you can see there's two of them there. If you drill into one you can see it's you referencing the other sheets dot change. Because data types integrate with formulas you can use them anywhere. And with that, we're at the end of the episode. If it's interesting, give it a thumbs up. If it's incredible, give me a sub, and I'll see you on the next one.